How's it going everyone? Jesus here, aka Tyrant Dominus, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about Anchor. Anchor is the one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and ridiculously easy to use. And now Anchor can match you with great sponsors who want to advertise on your podcast. That means you can get paid to podcast right away. In fact, that's what I'm doing right now by reading this ad. Honestly, Anchor is a very enjoyable platform to be on, listen on, and just a joy to be a part of this community. Anchor, come check us out. And welcome back to Reaction Cast. It's your host Jesus, aka Tyrant Dominus, here to bring you another anime review. This time around, we're going to be talking about season two of That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime. So, uh, okay, for anyone who who watched season one, uh, to simply put, <laughs> That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime is a very a very fun film like not film a very fun series of of Rumoru and his uh, pals as they you know try to build up um, a city basically a city full of monsters and kind of live a peaceful life and like going into season two it's where all because season, even though season one had a lot of like fun like introduction to a bunch of characters you got the ogres you got the the goblins uh you, you got like a bunch of things leading up to a bunch of fun parts and then just rimuru being powerful and stuff you got the ogre fight because you can tell from season one there was a lot of intensity of the world um but going into season two there's a lot more like heavy heavy plot and there's a lot of uh, a lot of like talking a lot of stuff oh shoot why can't i remember what it's typically called a lot of plot uh, being built up and for people who aren't like people who don't like sitting down and listening to exposition yeah there it is listen like listen to exposition it can be very frustrating um for me it wasn't that bad one uh, to note is I've read the the book already or the manga uh, even though it is a light novel I I was already reading the the manga so I already had an idea what was getting into it uh, but when reviewing uh, as always when reviewing an anime I review the anime with uh, avoiding source material for the most part I will uh, hint on little things but as far as the anime went there's a lot of expositions and it can be daunting at times uh, depending on the individuals uh, but for me it was interesting to see some of the voices that they chose for certain characters and uh, kind of seeing how they would uh, really portray some of the incidents that were going to happen in season 2 because like I mentioned um, season 2 of Slime like it's it's heavy it's really heavy it's really intense and there's a lot of lore being added to the world and it adds a next level of like world building and it's really fantastic uh from an outsider perspective um like i i enjoy world building and shows and season two did a really fantastic job just like okay there's more to this world and i'm looking forward to it but like I mentioned before, there's a lot of heavy topics, um, a lot of like interesting fights. I was hoping for more intriguing fights. Like I said, I already read it, so I already had an idea of what I was going to get into. Um, but it wasn't as as thrilling, I would say, as I wanted it to be. Uh, it season two had 24 episodes it kind of starts out with um from what it from what um uh, it's told here it kind of does like the the end of the uh kind of basically it starts out with rumor leaving the 
the school with all the children and going back to Tempest. And this that's kind of like a good hitting point where, okay, things are going to hit the hit the fan hard uh, because that's where he first meets Hinata and then they kind of have this intense fight. And that's a good way to start it because you can see this next level of true uh, level of, okay, this is where my level of fighting and skills and everything is. And it's fantastic to watch that. But then you get into, um, like, the whole... Uh, it's kind of gonna go I'm gonna try to avoid as much spoilers as possible but this is this season is the season where like like I mentioned things hit the fan hard and the and as much as Rimuru tries to tries to live this like peaceful life and create a peaceful life for the, the people around him people around the world aren't that nice and if they see someone getting in the way of their happiness they'll try to destroy uh their uh, other people's happiness to make their lives easier and it's very disappointing to see that because this is where um if i'm pronouncing this right the 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 kingdom of uh i'm gonna try to get this right see here uh yeah god what is it i forget which kingdom like forget forget them the kingdom of fel falmouth falmouth uh under the the like in manipulation of clayman because this is really the whole thing with clayman um that's been like manipulating everything ever since season one with the trying to do the demon lord ogre and and it's finally like this season really finally encapsulate that arc of the whole clayman arc i would say uh because it ends really reasonably fun it's short it's 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 a little bit short like i said this season two is pretty exposition heavy and there's a lot of talking and i don't mind that i know some of the other individuals will um but if you if you are the type of individuals that like can't just watch an entire 25 minute episode of just people talking um you might just want to stack some episodes together um that's kind of what i did it's not in a sense where i knew like i was like okay i, I knew what's gonna happen i'm like in a way it's just that's kind of how i've been watching animes these past couple months as i stack a couple episodes and then watch them through so every every week i watch like three episodes of the same anime and then do the same thing with the next so it's a good it's an interesting way i've been watching these shows um but it kind of helped for for this season of slime and it, it worked out well because you got a, a I, we got a good bunch of exposition and lore uh and really why Rimuru had to like defeat clayman and his army and it's 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 a big build up and it's heart disheartening um because if you watch diaries of the slime it's like it's a fun look behind the scenes of the village or the city at this point and see seeing the people live everyday lives and that's fun i, I don't know if i did a review but that was fantastic just for a fun behind the scenes look of the world and then to kind of see what happens in this season uh it just like it it hits a little harder knowing the the people that are in the city and the people who get hurt um there's a few moments that are in the book and in the manga that i wish they kind of added uh it adds this level of like true um like like menace to Rimuru's character like he does show it a little bit in this season but in in that one it, it, it it's depicted a really interesting way and i kind of wish they there was a few moments that were added but it's fine because at this point it was it's yeah it's it's hard there's a, a lot of a lot of intense battles a lot of death and it's truly it really hurts a little bit when you get used to these characters and for the most part like the final act of this season like i said it's a reasonable end to the clayman arc and to see what the future is gonna entail um i haven't read anything past this arc uh so i'm it's all a surprise to me coming forward so i'm looking forward to seeing what the rest of this show is gonna bring to us but for sure it is this season really was a fun enjoyable um like conclusion to the first season like keep saying there's a lot of exposition but i enjoyed this exposition uh for as far as like a rating for this one 
it's like it was a good it was a good season a good uh, good anime so far um so for season two hmm I'm, I'm torn between giving it a seven or an eight there's um there's a lot I, I, like I said I don't want, I don't want to give spoilers to this um because like it's it's a fun it's fun when you get through the entire thing and you see uh the and like everything I think actually you know I think I know what next the next like uh spin-off season's gonna be I hope it's there's two spin-off books and I'm looking forward to seeing if they do one of those two books because it's interesting it's like it's all point of view so from other people's point of view and I'm looking forward to seeing what that is but for this season hmm oh just see I'm really torn between a seven and an eight hmm I'm gonna give them I'm gonna be a little generous I'm gonna give this one an eight out of ten it was great for me it's great for me like I said I I enjoy exposition and and world building and this um, this season did a lot of that um, and there was a lot of, a lot of moments that hit home um, so uh, for me I'm gonna give this one a solid eight out of ten um, but yeah it's it's fun just to see the rumor Rim- and his pals doing all this stuff a lot of political talk a lot of uh, like talk about the world and the denizens of the world some returning members some new members it's oh my god there's so much and it it does a good job like yeah it, it's fun so yeah let me know what you thought about season two of the time i got reincarnated as a slime and uh, yeah leave it in the comments on the if this if you're watching this on youtube leave it down below or if you're listening to this on any of the podcast platforms leave a message under the instagram post or twitter post that this is on uh, but yeah always follow me on those uh at twitter underscore dominus on twitter i wish you can get that one or at tyrant dominus one word on instagram i really need to get a, see if i can get my instagram but yeah thanks again for listening until next time see ya